I'll do my best and I'm hoping that your energy will come to me and we will find inspiration. But coming up to your mat, we're gonna start with just a little bit of movement. So we're gonna start with a little jog. This is for your feet. So you wanna prance with your feet as if you are a beautiful, stealthy lion in the forest. Yeah. Lions in our area are also called mountain lions. Yeah. They're also called cougars. They're also called panthers. Yep. They're also called puma, panther, cougar, mountain lion. I think I got them all. Those are all names for the same animal, which is a lion. Okay, I've got that over with. Keep jogging around as if you're a mountain lion or a puma. <laughs> oh. Okay, shrug those shoulders up. Shrug them and let them go. It's kind of like you're a giant skeleton. Have you walked around your neighborhood and people are already decorating for Halloween and there's skeletons hanging around? Yeah. I rode my bike out for those of you that live in Aptos, behind the post office, you know, cathedral. Does anyone live on cathedral? All the way out cathedral to Redwood to the very, very end. It's beautiful out there. And there are cool people that live out there. They have dome houses and um, all kinds of natural kind of hippie abodes, organic gardens, goats. And it, it uh, bustles up next to Nicene Marks. So there's lots and lots of redwoods and trees. Beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. Cool people too, really friendly. Okay, from the jog, do just a couple of these little jumping jacks. Good. And I'm just pushing my arms back. I'm not trying to stay in sync. I'm just stretching my arms back as I'm letting my legs go out and in. Good, I'm building energy so that maybe I'll get some inspiration today. Yeah, <laughs> good, okay. Back to the jog and then pause. Lifting one and the other, take it into a big knees up, knees up. How high can you get your knee up? Knee up, knee up, knee up. Keep going, knee, knee, knee up. Yes, well we have some fun things in our agenda. Oh my gosh, my, my schedule has been full of activities lately. Sailing, uh, canoeing, being out on the ocean, hiking, uh, all kinds of beautiful bike rides, We're going to San Francisco. Yay, we got tickets to the symphony. That's gonna be so much fun. Yes, lots of things happening and I got to go to Anna's open studio this weekend. That was really great. Okay, arms come behind the head. Push, 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 push. Standing tall, noticing that your diaphragm is lifted, rib cage is lifted, and then it's a twist, and a twist, and a twist. Good job, reach. Reach your elbow out. You're not going down, you're going out. Yes, not down. Butt out. Woohoo. Ah. Okay, and keep going here. We really want to get this twisting action down today. Yes, we got to do some more obliques because I need those for rowing. <laughs> and we need them. We all need them. And I picked up a good book this week. You might have read it. It's called Cloud cuckoo land very cool and the funny thing is it's a little bit reminiscent of cloud atlas so it has the same word in it cloud as david mitchell's book cloud atlas it has all different divergent stories arms out feet in small circles no stress in the shoulders here so you could do any kind of floppy circles I don't want you to stress anything out. For me, just long arms and circling is great. Good, reverse it. Good. Uh, it's also reminiscent, the Cloud Cuckoo Land book is also uh, reminiscent of the Overstory by Richard Powers. That was one of my favorite books. 
where all the stories start and you don't know where they're going and who these people are, but pretty soon by like page 200, oh, and these are all big, thick books too, the ones I'm talking about, uh, you finally kind of, it all comes together. Ah, <sighs> but I'm enjoying it. So Cloud Cuckoo Land might be a good one for you to check out. It's by Anthony Dorr. He's the guy who wrote, uh, All the Light We Cannot See. Okay, nice. So I feel just a little bit groovier, a little bit more inspired. And I'm gonna grab my ball in my band. I'm gonna place the ball between my inner thighs and I'm gonna lift up. So I really feel core muscles engaged. Yes. I'm gonna take my TheraBand here and what I wanna do is make a high V shape. So I want my arms to be when they're lifted up in a V. As I slightly press out, I can feel my shoulders pressing out, but I can feel my back muscles a little active. So I'm just gonna do that two more times. I press it out and I back off a little bit. I wanna find the perfect amount of tension. It's a little bit of tension, but not a lot. Good, now I'm gonna keep the tension. I'm gonna look up, so I'm lifting my sternum. And I'm going to resist as I slide my hands down. And my TheraBand actually taps my breastbone. Reaching up, widen, resist down. Good. This is mainly for the lats. So if we imagine ourselves pulling those lats down, thinking about the giant triangular muscles, kind of thinking about the triangle originating under the armpit. So we kind of think the sides of our body. Good. And for me, there's some work here. It's not the hardest thing I've ever done, but I can make it harder just by resisting more. Oh yeah, that one was so much harder. Perfect form as I pull down. I imagine maybe that I'm at the gym. Gosh, when was the last time you were at the gym? <laughs> and you're pulling down. 60, 80 pounds, like a good amount of weight, pulling down. Good, and keep going, pull down. Can you feel your lats? Can you make that happen for yourself? Pulling down. Some days, for me, this is harder than the ones at the gym. Today, I don't know why, but not so much, but I still like it. Ah, good, I want one more up. Widen, resist. Good job. Let your arms come out. About the same width. I'm giving myself a little bit more. And I want you to press the shoulders down and pull the shoulder blades back. So can you see where my arms are? I'm not scrunched up here. Very important. My arms are down. My back muscles are engaged. And I'm just holding for a second, finding this. My hands are actually pressing down a tiny bit. Yes. Then I'm gonna pull across my chest and I wanna make sure that my, my wrists are straight. So it's like I'm making fists, punching out two mean guys, and then back. Jen, why are you using violent images today? I don't know, never had that issue before. I'm punching out two guys. <laughs> At least it makes me laugh. Oh, <laughs> have you ever punched out two guys at the same time? We'll practice. <laughs> Good, and pull and punch. Good, just one more time. I feel this in my upper back. Good job. Okay, let your arms come down. And just three times full range of motion with the band, up and over, and back. Good, up and over. <laughs> and back, oiling the joints. Last one, we're gonna stay with the arms behind us. Ta-ta! And I want you to wrap the TheraBand around somewhere where it's touching bones, or definitely not on your waist. Good. And then we're gonna cross over in the front, and elbows at my sides. I'm gonna form a V shape with my feet. And for me, I can keep my ball squeezed and my feet in a V, but if that doesn't work for you, ball can come out. 
And I want you to keep your elbows at your sides, lengthen through the top of your head and your neck, and then it's a small little pull out. Good. And as we pull out, first just find the cadence. Out and out. Good. Once you have your really good form, then you can go ahead and add a releve and a releve and a releve. So we're working the feet, rolling up and down. Good job. Up, ta ta. Up, ta ta. And up. Good. Up, down, and up, and 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 hold. Good. Can you stay in relevé? Pulse, pulse, tiny pulses. I'm moving an inch out, an inch out, and I feel this in my shoulders. I keep my shoulders down, my neck long. That's it, keep going. You can imagine yourself with a rhinestone dog collar when you've got this nice long neck. You're not a bulldog or any of those dogs with a short neck. You have a beautiful, long, elegant neck. Good. Three, two, one, and release that, yes. Okay, I'm gonna remove the ball, but I notice, oh yeah, my inner thighs and my deep pelvic floor muscles got a little bit warmed up there. That was my trick there. And I want to do some standing biceps. If you've got the purple band, perfect. If you don't, you can definitely use some small hand weights. The, the trick here is to step in and to keep the TheraBand fairly long. And then for me, I like to make it a little bit tighter so I get some more work. And I'm zipping up the inside of my body. Woohoo! Then I turn my palms face out and I take it into the bicep curl and I just hold it for a minute. I hold it so that all of the muscles and joints can kind of get into the right place. And I'm standing tall and then slowly down and then up. Good. You can do these bicep curls. However, I love this set. It really works for me. I get my whole body engaged. I can feel my hamstrings and my uh, glutes fire and my back. So I feel the front of my body and the back of my body, which is pretty cool. I think that's pretty hard to do when you're using little hand weights. That's more just biceps. So you get more bang for your buck. Yes. Good job. Up. Slowly down. Good. Slowly down. Pressing up and down. Good job. Good, now keep going. No stress, but you're feeling your arms. You're getting stronger. That's a good feeling. Good, I can't tell you, I'm sure all of you cyclists have this happen to you, but I can't tell you how many times I'm on my bicycle and I'm doing a hill somewhere and some person is walking by or jogging by, usually or coming out of their house or something, and they yell at me like, oh my gosh, good job. I could never make it up that hill. That's amazing. But then they always say, but if I were your age, of course I'd be able to do that. But at my age, I'm driving my super or whatever. And I think it's hilarious. And I just smile and wave and say, oh yeah, hey, have a good day, blah, blah, blah. But I look at them, you know what? I'm pretty sure they're younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's funny don't use your age as some sort of a weird thing like I can't do that because I'm too old no do whatever you can and enjoy it yeah okay last one here we hold good singles one arm down the other arm down now I feel this in my arms but the more important thing as you know is can you stand up straight Stand up straight, stand up straight. Good, and I'm not going super fast. <laughs> I'm not going super slow, am I? I'm just going at my own pace. Ta-ta, ta-ta. Good job. Pull, and pull, and pull. Keep going, pull, and pull, 
and pull, and pull, keep going, pull, and pull, and pull. Good, both arms up, last three, down, press it up. <sighs> good, now for me, my arms are tired. Like this was a good set, and this last one, it's like I have to force myself to do that last one. Yes, perfect, okay. Now, shake out your arms a little bit. Last part with our TheraBand today. The arms are holding the very edges, and I just want you to lift up. Maybe you're up higher, doesn't matter about that. I want you to make a, uh, oh, I can't think of the name of that shape. <laughs> anyway, I want you to make a shape that has a little tensegrity to it, whatever that is, and then down. Maybe it's a double diamond. Maybe it's an octagon. Whatever shape it is, you're creating it, you're letting it go. You're creating a shape and you're letting it go. And do it one more time. Create that shape and let it go. Perfect job. Okay, St uh, stretch out, shake out hands from the gripping of the band. Good, and just like we started with just a quick little jog again, quick little jog. We're gonna do our roll downs on the mat today. So just letting everything go, let it all go. Ah, huge inhale through your nose. Good, hold it and then exhale through your mouth. Yes, let's come to the mat. We're gonna start with the band. We've got some roll downs to do. Ah, okay, perfect. That was pretty fun. You wouldn't know that I was completely uninspired, right? <laughs> okay, let's see, how can we make this fun? Let's just do the first one with the ball between the ankle. The band is gonna go around the bottom of the feet. When you squeeze the ball, you've got, again, that inner line that we worked on already. And then with the band, you just create a really upright shape. Take an inhale here, exhale, roll down smoothly. Your head comes down, and I want you to get longer when you're on your mat. Good, and the next inhale, you lift your head to look at your feet and then use your TheraBand to pull yourself up. Stay rounded as you come forward and reach for your toes. I want you to do that two more times with me. Rolling down, getting taller and lifting up. Good, and down. Good. And lifting up. Woo! Okay, now for the next three, I'm gonna um, increase the challenge for my body by placing my feet on the top of the ball and pressing down, firing the back of my legs. I uh, put my TheraBand in two, so I have something to hold on to, and I'm pulling it lightly apart, and I sit up as tall as I can, and I roll down, keeping my feet pressed down into the ball, and I add the reach overhead. So I'm doing an overhead reach, getting as long as I can, and then inhale, the arms start. Exhale, I pick myself up. And I try to keep my feet pressed down somewhat onto the ball. And I reach for my toes, keeping my belly rounded and my back rounded. You got it. Sitting up tall. Two more times, making the roll downs feel really good today. Using your whole body. When you're using everything that you have, life is so much easier. Ah, oh, the ease of living. That's what we should call our class, ease of living. <laughs> How to make things easier 
when you are strong and you have full participation of your of yourself whew, life is easy or easier okay good on this next one we come all the way down good and pause for a second ah perfect Okay, we're gonna move right into bridge and uh, chest lift. The ball comes between the inner knees, inner thighs, and I give it a good firm squeeze. That's it. I've got my TheraBand right here, and it's all doubled up, so I'm gonna choose to use it, because I have it, behind my neck. Yeah. And I'm kind of squeezing the ball enough so that I can feel that my feet are lined up to my sitting bones, inner thighs are working, adductors are working, my pelvis is in neutral, meaning my tailbone is flat. Good job, take a breath in. Exhale, pick up your head, neck, and shoulders, and then as you lift up a tiny bit higher, you squeeze your ball. Yes, and then down. So here we go, we lift, take it a little higher as you squeeze your ball, and back down. Good, now as you lift, you can kind of glance at your pelvis if you're not sure that you're keeping your pelvis stable. You're not squeezing your butt. You're not tilting your back. Your pelvis is heavy and it's stable. You're using your abdominals. That's it. Lift, lift higher, and down. Good. When I first learned Pilates, it was all about can you keep a neutral pelvis? Can you keep your pelvis neutral? Can you do this movement with a neutral pelvis? And I was like, I was so frustrated and, oh my God, am I my neutral pelvis? And how do you keep your tailbone long? Actually, they never cued bones back then. It was always muscles. How can you keep your pubococcygea even with the reformer when you're keeping a neutral pelvis? And oh my God, it has to be neutral. And I finally realized <laughs> that Cueing from the bones is a lot better. Thinking about your pelvic base and your spine and your tailbone is so much easier to understand it. It's so much more natural than the craziness of the neutral pelvis, which is really pretty awkward and weird. <laughs> so I gave that up, but it's still, it's still a good term and it's, it's interesting. Neutral really should be natural. A natural placement of your pelvis. Your pelvis isn't moving, it's just natural. Lift, take it higher, and down. We have two more. Lift, take it higher, and down. One more time, lift, take it higher, and down. Okay, good job. Now from here, I'm gonna release the band. I'm gonna keep it there, because I'm gonna do one more set, but the arms are at my sides. I'm going to lift my hips up, Find my bridge, and on this bridge set, you can lift up higher than your shoulder blades if you want. These are hip lifts, kind of coming from a, a gymnastic point of view, not so much Pilates. So just, there's a long line of energy. You're balanced wherever it feels comfortable. Then we lower. So it's one fell swoop, up and down, but it's slow. And as you lift, you squeeze your ball. Now I said that you can lift up as high as you like. It's true, you can. However, you want that long line. So wherever you're lifted, there's that line. If you're an artist, yeah, you got it, a line. I get the line. If you're a dancer, I get the line. If you're an energy worker, you're like, yes, the line of energy, right? But if you don't know the line, You've got to go inside your body and find it. You have to find the interior line, keeping it connected. So I'll let you figure that out yourself because everybody's different. Find your line. And oh, good work. It is a beautiful sunny day here today. I think it's October 12th. What a beautiful October we're having, huh? Yes. Life is good. I've always wanted to be a, um, you know, a, a natural, I'm a certified naturalist, so I wanted to add a hiking leader. I've been a hiking leader for many years, but to put it together for the Sierra Club. 
So I finally contacted the Sierra Club and they're like, yeah. So I have to go through all this crazy training and I have to get recertified through wilderness first aid, which is a really intensive class, which is great. And uh, then I have to take a leader on my first hike so that they can check me out. So it's gonna be a couple of weeks before I can get fully certified. But I think that's gonna be so much fun for me. I'm gonna be a Sierra Club hiking leader as I get older. I want to do two hikes, lead two hikes a month. So as I um, do it and as I'm trying them out, I will invite you on my hikes too. And it'll get them on my calendar. I usually go out at least once or twice a week for long hikes myself. We got two more of these. But, um, you know, to have them kind of scheduled and have people coming and stuff, I think for me will be really fun. Good. Now, last one, and we stay lifted. Good. You do want to be on your shoulder blades now. So if you're not, melt down, lift the hips up a smidge more, maybe lengthen more out through the knees, and then you might feel this somewhere in your body. Staying in the bridge here, I like to bring one arm up. Notice the palm is facing toward the midline of the body and then the other arm up. Good. And then I'm gonna do 20 air kegels. It's release and squeeze. Tiny movement. Yes, my butt sags, but I'm trying to do it from the inside out. Yes, 18, 17. I do a really squeeze of the ball. 16, 15, good job. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good, slowly roll the spine down. Beautiful. Let your arms come wide and then drop the legs to one side. Keep your eyes on the ceiling or turn away. Your choice here. It's a variation of the supine twist. Bringing it back to center and then just one time, other way. To me, it feels natural to turn my head away. Yeah, and that gives me a deeper twist today in this position. Whew. Perfect. So, coming back to center, we want to take the chest lifts up to the next level. Legs pop off to tabletop. Make sure that you feel comfortable and you kind of find your positioning. Good. Ribs are connecting. Then see if you can find your TheraBand if you're using that and if it's helpful. And then from here, we're going to lift up and lower. Good. Finding just that comfortable lift and lower. Good. Now we add on. We're going to lift and lower. Oh, I guess we're not adding on yet. Sorry. Lift and lower. I got ahead of myself. Lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower. Okay, now as gracefully as you can, place the ball between your ankles. Good job. And we get to move on. We get to add on. Yeah, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Here we go. We're going to lift up, lengthen the legs out, pull them in and down. Yes, we do it. Lift, lengthen, in, and down. Good. I really like this one because it uses my whole body, because I am completely relaxed in my neck, and I'm definitely using my abdominals, but again, it's whole body. Out, bringing it in, and down, keep going, lift, lengthen long, pull in and down. Good, if by any chance you do happen to feel it in your neck the way that you're doing it, you do the exact same thing, but it's out and in. So it's without the head lift, right? You don't wanna stress your neck. Otherwise, if you're doing it the original way with me. We're going to see if we can do three more. So lift, out, in, 
and down. Two more. Cha cha. Choo choo. In. Down once more. Yay, good work. Okay, <clears throat> let's get rid of the TheraBand for a moment. I'm just gonna put it to the side. We are gonna use it a little bit later. I want you to bring your feet on top of your ball. Good. And we're gonna do one set here on top of the ball, if you can handle it. It's quite a bit of hamstring. And then we'll use the ball for just a little choreography today. Yeah. So push your feet into the ball and then lift your hips off and lower. That's it. You want to lift and lower. Good. Now, if for whatever reason you feel cramping or it's too much, you're going to add a lengthening out, a pulling in, a lift up, and a lift down. So I'm going to do this with you a few times. This is just so much kinder on the hamstrings for those of you that have really tight hamstrings. So much kinder. But for me today, my hamstrings are feeling good, and I'm just going to push it a little bit. I'm just going to go up and down. So my hamstrings don't get any stretch in between. But you have options. Good. Lift and lower. Good. And I don't know if you can tell, but my legs are together. My feet are together. My knees are together. <clears throat> my uh, inner thighs are together. Now you might have really skinny inner thighs and they're not quite touching. Good for you. <laughs> lift up and lower. And lift and lower. Good job. Lift and lower. I have two more, and lower, and lift, and lower. Good, lengthen your legs long. Let the ball rock you a little side to side. <sighs> okay, beauties. We're going to use the ball for a little fun choreography today. And I'm gonna place the ball underneath my left foot. Yeah. And I'll flip on over here. Ball is underneath the left foot. <sighs> my pelvis is even, and it's a neutral. And I bring my left leg up to tabletop. I just want to extend my, my left leg with the ball. So I push the ball out, and I pull the ball in. Good job. Now, that could be a thing. That could be for you. Or you could add your little bit of a chest lift. So try lifting as you shoot your ball out. Good, does that feel good? Do you have enough support? Do you have your TheraBand handy and you really want to use your band? That's fine. Try to find that that works for you. We have two more like this. For me, the pushing of the ball helps me lift a little higher. Good, now I'm gonna add the right leg too. So right leg, left leg, and upper body. Whole body is participating. That's it. And I lift and down. I lengthen both legs as I lift and down. I look at the sky and then I look toward the ball. Look at the sky and then look at the ball. Good. Okay, last one. I stay lifted and then I keep my legs here and I lower my head, neck, and shoulders. My arms come to the side. I'm pushing down with my left leg onto the ball as much as I can. Like it is firmly planted. This foot is going to flex and point and flex and point. And then it's going to come down, not touching the ground. Kick up. Point down. Kick up. Good. Three more here. Point and flex and point and flex. You got it. Flex now. Point up. So we change the foot position. For some of you, that's really a cha challenge for your brain. You don't need to go to the brain gym. You need to come to Pilates class and work your brain. Yes. Last one here. Woo. Good. Hands come behind the right thigh. Ah, tiny little stretch. And then circle. 
wiggling the ankle a couple of times. We're gonna finish this little part here with our leg circles. Three and three, and they're big. So the leg goes across the body, down, up, and around. Three, inhale, exhale. Two, good, other way. Down and across and up. Across the body and up. Good, inhale, exhale. Woo! Bend the knee, give it a nice squeeze into your body. Good. And just to throw a tool into the works, we're gonna do our crisscross right now before we do the other side. Oh no, yes we are. So here we go. We're gonna use this position in here to pull ourselves up, float left leg up, get your legs moving, one in and one out. Good, hands behind the head, twist to the incoming knee. Good, reach, reach, remember it? armpit or ribs that you're reaching, not elbow so much. Yes, yes, good. Let's see if we can do eight, eight, and seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, and down. Right foot now is resting on the ball. Left leg comes to tabletop. Good. Just practice the right leg lengthening. Check that your pelvis is even. Good. Yeah, you can do this. Can you use your core to push your ball? A plus if you can get that. Core to ball, not leg to ball, core to ball, yeah. Now hands behind the head and we lift and lower, and lift, and lower. This is so satisfying, don't you think? So satisfying, I love it. Lift, and lower, good. Now add the other leg, unfurling. Is that what we did on the other side? <laughs> I have a feeling that we did this. Yes, okay, good. Down and up, right? Oh my God, I forgot what we did. That's terrible. Okay, give me an F, but do whatever you can with me a couple more. <sighs> was it this one <sighs> or was it the other one? That's what happens when you throw a wrench in the works, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Now, pause. You're gonna take that leg down and up. We got five times, point down, flex up. Point down, flex up. Point down, flex up. Point down, flex up, reverse. Flex down, point up. Flex down, point up. Good, try to do it perfectly. Try to do it without thinking about it. Can you just let your body do it? Make a flow. Good, last one. Good, hold behind your thigh, stretch. Good, and then circle your ankle a couple times. We're gonna do the big leg circles, three and three. My right ankle, or Achilles, is pushing down, so my whole leg is working hard. This foot's gonna point and reach up, and then across and around, big circle. Three, two, keep breathing, one, and reverse it. Three. Two, and one. Good, bend your knee and give that leg a little bit of love. Woo! Okay, perfect. Now you're gonna pull the ball towards you, lift up and place that right underneath your sacrum and it's comfortable, feels really comfortable. Ah, lengthen your legs. We did some good front of the body abdominal work, right? So this is a slight stretch for that. You just have to let go. How many of you have issues with letting go? This is a good time to practice that. Let it go. <sighs> good. 
Good, and you might notice, like I do, that when you let go and you breathe, you're filled with joy and you're filled with small little flowers all in your body. It makes you feel happy. At least it does to me. So I'm sharing that with you. I hope it feels that way to you. I feel so happy. I allow happiness to come like little effervescent bubbles in my body. That's what movement can do. Yeah, all the all you all the the lives that are spent chasing money and success, whatever that means. But actually, it's just pretty simple. <laughs> Happiness is right here for me. Okay, now let's do a little bit of bicycling, and then we're going to move on to basic hip strengthening today. So the ball is comfortable. Legs come on up to the sky. Take a minute to wrap your tailbone around the ball. So lower abdominals are 100% fired. And then it's a big bicycle, any pace, big bicycle. Good. Just feeling like you're stretching, stretching, and stretching those legs. Good. Arms can be where, anywhere that you want, up, over the head, at your sides, it doesn't matter. They can even hold on to the handlebars if you want to visualize yourself on a bicycle. <laughs> I'm kind of stretching my hands a little bit over my head. That feels good. But I think it's because I'm near this uh, wall thing. So I'm stretching my hands as I'm uh, bicycling. Woo! That would be a good thing. Usually if I'm going down really fast, like say 47 miles an hour on a big hill on my bicycle. It's a little scary, right? It's scary. I'm white knuckling it a little bit. <laughs> so it feels good to stretch out my fingers. Yes, yes, good. Keep going, make it bigger. Now add a little tiny bit of mud. Mud is being flung into the equation and you have to push through the mud. Yes, you know there's times in your life where you have to push through the mud. That's okay, we're friends. We've got a crowd of people here to support us. Push through the mud for just 25 seconds. We can do this together. Push through that heavy mud. Yes, push, 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 keep going. Ah, good, now I really feel my core fired all the way up to my rib cage. It feels great. 10 more seconds. Keep going through your mud. And push, 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 and release down. Good, just another second here, but this one is more for your sacrum and your back. Letting go through that area of your body. Yeah. Okay, let's move into our hip strengthening. We're going to lift up, yep, and roll on to our sides. Let's do our really basic set today. I don't think we've done that for a couple of weeks, so let's try that. Always good. Gotta always return to this one. My legs are in an L shape. I'm kind of pressing my uh, pelvis a little bit away to get that length. And then I start by lifting up and I have a baby puma right here on my leg and I'm lifting it up and down. It's sleeping, good, but it's heavy. It's 37 pounds, lift, good lift. Lift your baby puma. Good job, lift and lift and lift and lift. Keep going, lift and lift and lift and lift. Keep going, lift and lift, and lift, and lift, keep going, lift, and lift, and lift. Good, we're gonna keep this up for a little bit, so just keep going as much as you can, having that imaginary animal, so there's weight on your legs. And uh, I'll tell you about my San Francisco trip. So Wendy has been gracious enough to let Deb and I come to stay in her Pacific Heights house for a night. So we're gonna head up there on Thursday and we have tickets to the symphony at Davies Auditorium. 
So we've got reservations at a restaurant. We're gonna walk around. We're gonna have great food. We're gonna go to the symphony. We're gonna take an Uber back home, get a good night's sleep in the beautiful Pacific Heights place. Then in the morning, we're gonna have a fabulous breakfast, head across the Golden Gate Bridge on foot, walk to the Legion of Honor, spend the afternoon in the museum, and then we have some time where we can do whatever we want, and then we'll head back home. What do you think? Does that sound like a really fun San Francisco getaway? I know, I'm really excited about it. Yes, I haven't been to the city since the summer, so it's been full four months I haven't been to San Francisco. Wow. That's amazing. We have like the best city in the world. I haven't been there. Okay, how many times are we doing this, Jen? Okay, okay, we'll move. Bigger and bigger. Good, I'll count down the final ones. Good, seven and eight. Oh, six, five and four and three and two. Last one, it's circle. Big circle today, as big as you can without disturbing your pelvis. So whatever that means for you, as big as you can. Yeah, four, there's only 10, five. Of course, there's reversing though, just to let you know, six, seven, eight. Do you feel your gluteus medius? Do you feel that? Oh my gosh, I can really feel that today. Good, reverse for 10. Make it as big as you can, but your pelvis has to stay in neutral. Yay! Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Oh, we did it. Okay, let's come up for a weird hip stretch. We'll only take it for one minute, and then we're going to do the other side. My ball goes to the side for just a second, and I'm going to do a seated log burn. Log burn. Okay, so you kind of pretend you're sitting upright in a yoga class, and they're going to teach you how to do lotus, but you can't do lotus. So you're going to pick your front leg up, and you're going to cradle it just a little bit back and forth, as if you were going to place your front leg on top of your other. And then just kind of notice when you're doing that, can you feel that it's a really great release for your hip? If you're like, Jen, this is a really weird exercise. It comes from yoga. It is a hip stretch. And it is a way to get into full lotus. But body mechanics, can you do a full lotus? No, I can't. Good, good, actually good. Do you know that through body mechanics and through uh, physical therapists, they found out that the full lotus is not good for your joints. So if you've been doing it all your life, you actually might want to back off a bit. It's too much for that joint. But just a little bit of circling, kind of going in and out of it or leaning forward and back. To me, that's a quick way to let the hip stretch and it's not bad. Okay, whatever, we'll try that today. Let's do the other one. Okay, oops, it goes behind my knee. I wasn't sure where it was going. I'm in my L shape, form is everything, and I do small little lifts, and I got my beautiful Puma. He's still sleeping, little baby, baby lion is resting there. My belly's pulled in. Good, I didn't, I had avocado toast for breakfast this morning, not a giant pancake. Gosh, I love banana pancakes though. Do you ever make those? So, um, what I do is I take, one banana and one egg per person. So one banana and one egg, and then a few tablespoons of buckwheat flour, and I mix it all up. And then I put in whatever type of nuts I have, walnuts or pecans, and I make a pancake out of it. And I always uh, top it with tons of fresh berries. Like you can't even see the banana pancake. It's all full of raspberries or strawberries or blueberries or all three if I have them and some pure maple syrup and it's the best breakfast ever and it's gluten-free it doesn't bloat me it doesn't make me feel bad I don't gain weight when I have it and it, it just tastes so delicious banana pancakes that's from a, that is from a paleo recipe that came out years ago paleo diet 
But I mean, there are some good things about each diet, right? Just look at the recipe books. Maybe there's a few things you can steal from them. And boy, that's a good recipe for, for my body. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it, keep going. Good, well, we're on the subject of food. So let's see, what else have we been cooking lately? Let me think, what have I been making? I made really great cauliflower soup. Do you love cauliflower soup? My cauliflower soup comes from a recipe from Sunset Magazine from like, I don't know, 2015 or something. It's really simple. and It is the best cauliflower soup. I've been making it for years. I love it. Probably have it ever. Good, okay, I think we did one million of these, so now we do it bigger and we count down. Nine and eight. Good job. And seven and six. Good, and five and four and three and two. Good, and one. It circles as big as you can while keeping that pelvis stacked. Yeah, good, eight and seven. Do you feel your gluteus medius right now kicking in like, ooh, I feel it. Yes, I do too. Good, four, three, two, one other way. We go around, big circle, nine and eight and seven. Seven and six, keeping our hips super strong. This is kind of our superpower. If we have strong hips, it will protect our knees. That is such a weird concept, but it's true. So keeping our hips strong protects our lower joints, knees and ankles. And we need that for everything, don't we? Yeah, and do you do hip strengthening when you're not with me? Probably not. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was 10. Woo, good work, we did it. Okay, last little thing, we're gonna do the heated log stretch today, because we did it on the other side. The leg that you just work comes over the other leg, as if you are in a yoga class, and you're doing the full lotus, but you're not. You're gonna cradle the top leg, and you're gonna move it in a little bit of circle, or back and forth, or leaning forwards. You have a couple different options. Quick way to really release and stretch those hips. Yeah, great job. Okay, for our final stretch today, let's come onto our bellies and let's do a tiny little bit of back bending to finish today. This is super, super easy. And it's not a big lift, it's a natural lift. So what I want you to do is placing your hands one and the other into a stacked pancake, stacked pancake. Attach that to your forehead, good. My legs are a little bit apart, but they're reaching away from me as if somebody's pulling on my feet. And I'm gonna keep my hands attached to my head as I lift up. This is a natural back extension. So let's try it, take a breath in. Exhale, lengthen everything that you have, and then lift up as high as you can. It's possible that you're barely lifted off the ground, that's okay. Take an inhale, exhale, coming down. Good, now stack the hands the other way. We're gonna do it two more times. We stay attached, take a breath in, exhale, lengthen, and then lift up as high as you can naturally. Take a breath in there. Exhale, coming down. Restack the hands, attach to your third eye, lengthen, and lift up to your own ability. Take an inhale there, exhale down. Perfect. Hands come to the, the shoulders, Slowly press yourself back, and we finish with our back stretch. Arms forward, head down, kind of snuggling in butt to your heels. Yes, and from this position, you can have your head down, arms reaching, arms relaxed, 
Breathe into the back of your body. Imagine that a nice person is giving you just a little tiny bit of pressure on your back. Ah, good. And then as you come all the way up, let your shoulders slide down your back. Take a huge breath in. And as you exhale, let go of anything that you've been holding on to that you do not need anymore. Ah, good. And maybe pay a tiny bit of attention to yourself. Noticing maybe that you feel a heck of a lot better than when you started class. Woohoo, I do. Thank you. I also now feel inspired. Woohoo, you guys, you guys are so awesome. Yes. Yeah. Okay, beauties.